हेलो गुड मॉर्निंग सो गुड मॉर्निंग क्लास एट चिल्ड्रन टुडे आई एल बी टेकिंग इंग्लिश ग्रामर फॉर क्लास एट फॉर क्लास सेवन आल्सो द टॉपिक वाज सेम आई एक्सप्लेन टू दम अबाउट टू डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ प्रोनाउन देर आर एक्चुअली नाइन और टेन डिफरेंट काइंड्स ऑफ प्रोनाउन यू नो व्हाट इज अ प्रोनाउन प्रोनाउन इज अ वर्ड दैट वी यूज इंस्टेड ऑफ ए नाउन फॉर एग्जाम्पल वेन यू से Taj Mahal is one of the seven wonders of the world, and every time we don't say Taj Mahal is in Agra, Taj Mahal is made of white marble, Taj Mahal is was built by uh, King Shah Jahan, or Taj Mahal is like this, Taj Mahal is like that. So after some time, it gets boring. So that is why we use a pronoun instead of Taj Mahal. What do you write? He or she? We don't use both because it is not a living thing. it is not a male or a female so we use the pronoun it first you say taj mahal is in agra it is a very beautiful building it is made of white marble and all those things so here it is the word that we have used instead of a noun and so we call it as a pronoun in this uh, pronoun there are three persons you may have studied in lower classes the three persons are the first person the second person and the third person the first person means the person who is speaking person who speaks i we and the second person is the person to who you are speaking you this is the to who you speak and what is the third person the rest all about whom about whom we are talking that is the third person he she it they and all those things about whom we are talking when i say i am good i am the person who is talking and i is the first person when i am saying something to you you are the second person when i am saying something about somebody to you and it is a third person so i we they come under first person you second person he she it they they come under third person and we met a study in class 6 7 and all those things the different types of pronouns i'll be just refreshing your memory as it is given in your textbook and after this and if you have the textbook you take a page number what is that uh page number 15 page number 17 Some of the exercises are given there. You can do it all through your WhatsApp group. I will give you some questions. You have to identify what types of personal. From the word itself, you can understand what I mean by personal. Something that is related to us. So, what must be the problem? Uh, so, sorry. What must be the pronoun? I, we, and all those things we call it as personal pronoun. If we come to the another one, interrogative pronoun. See, last time itself I explained you interrogative sentence questioning. So here also interrogative pronoun means some of the pronouns which are used to question what is your name, where do you live, why are you late, and all those things. And then another one if you want to see, I'll be explaining about demonstrative pronoun. This also is very simple. But uh, when you are using, you don't use it correctly. Demonstrating, used to demonstrate. For example, when I ask you, hmm, what do you say? This is a pen. What do you say? This. The word this is used to demonstrate. Demonstrate means to show. I'm asking you, what is that? Then you say that is a door. So that is also demonstrative pronoun. The pronoun that is used to demonstrate. to show so this that these and those i'll be just explaining to you when do we use this when something is nearby to us if it is singular now how many pens do i have in my hand only one and it is nearby to me touchable distance so how do you ask the question what is this how do you answer this is a pen now the door is little away from me so we don't say what is this i cannot touch the door And so, how do you ask the question? What is that? From there, you will be answering, sir. That is a door, because we are talking about one door, singular. 
singular. If it is nearby, we use this. Otherwise, we use that. The same way, if I have got two or three pens with me, now I have got two pens, so it is plural. So we cannot ask, what is this? So we have to use these. The plural of this is these. Now how will be the question? What is these? So is it right or wrong? It is wrong because when this comes, it is plural. So when you write is here, it is wrong. What are these? See, these are some of the simple steps. If you open your mouth, if you speak, very quickly you can grasp English. It is very simple. So, since it is plural, this one only, we say, what is this? This is a pen. Now I have two pens in my hand. So, what do you say? These, plural, these means. So, how do you say? These are pens. These are marker pens. These are soft wood pens. And when it is not nearby, so we have two doors in our class. So that when we are talking about two doors, we use those because it is not in touchable distance. So how will you say those doors are open? That means more than one door we have, those doors are open. If we have got many windows here, those windows are open. If we have only one window, how do you say that window is open? If the window is nearby, this window is open. That window is open. We are using this finger to show and that's why we call it as demonstrative pronoun. Then we have another one like emphatic pronoun. Last time when I was correcting some of the question papers of class 5, 8 and all, I found you did not understand it properly. Emphatic means emphasis. Emphasis means what? Stress. When you want to say something powerfully. Like for example, in the examination, you copy. How do you say? I copied it myself. So this myself is the emphatic pronoun. You are emphatically telling, stressing. I did it myself. Nobody helped me. I copied it myself. He drove the car himself. So here, this himself is an emphatic pronoun because his father did not help him. You know, he, is a, he might be a small boy, young boy. So when he says, yeah, I drove my father's car, he will not believe. So he is giving stress and telling me, I drove the car myself. He drove the car himself. I baked the cake myself. For cake, we don't say make, we say bake. We don't say cook. So, I baked the cake myself means my mother, my father, my sister, brother, nobody helped me. I did everything. This cake, though it may not be good to eat, you feel proud, you are stressing. I baked the cake myself. That emphatic word is called as the emphatic pronoun. Then we will see about this uh, reciprocal pronoun. A reciprocal pronoun also you might have studied in class 7. Reciprocal means to reciprocate. You might have studied in mathematics about the reciprocal. What is the reciprocal of 1 by 7? 1 is a numerator, 7 is a denominator. The reciprocal or in mathematics we say inverse multiplication. So the denominator becomes a numerator and the numerator becomes a denominator. The reciprocal is 7 by 1. And same way reciprocal means Give and take between two or more people. In this uh, reciprocal pronoun, there are only two. One is each other and the other one is one another. Each other and one another. You have only these two reciprocal pronouns. So reciprocal means what? It is something like give and take. Like two brothers are here. When he helps him and we he helps the other boy, A, B. When A helps B, B helps A. They are reciprocating. They are giving what they take. They are helping each other. A is getting help from B. B is getting help from A. That is the meaning of reciprocal. Once you understand that one, it's all quite easy. So here, when you are talking about two, the two brothers, there are only two people, the two brothers helped, we use each other. The two brothers helped 
each other. The two brothers quarreled with each other. The two brothers fought with each other. The two sisters loved what we write each other. Because we are talking only about two people there. If it is more than two, Now, the three cars crashed against, you see, each other, when I say, when it is only two, now we have more than two, so we cannot use each other. What do we use? One another. The three cars clashed against one another. If it is, uh, for example, a class of students, when they all help each other or when they all play, the students played with one another. If you are talking about only two, the brothers help, two brothers means help each other. The same way twins means it is two only. I don't know what you say in Hindi, twins, something like that. Okay, forget it. So, and uh, one more I will explain, indefinite pronouns. What do you mean by indefinite pronouns? That also from the word you may understand. Indefinite means not exactly sure. Not definite. So indefinite pronoun means like for example, one must be careful while driving a car. Because you know there are a lot of traffic. If you drive a bike or a car very rashly, you may fall into some ditch or you'll have some accidents. One must be careful while crossing the road. Who is that? What does it mean? That means when you are walking alone, you have to be careful. One means, what does it mean? It means that anybody, whoever crosses the road, you have to see left, right, left, and then only you have to cross the road. So whoever crosses the road, you have to be very careful. So it does not say a particular person, uh, Abhinav sir should cross the road when he is careful, or the principal, or the MD, that they are not mentioning about anybody there, designation or something. Whoever it is, when they cross, they have to be careful. Like somebody stole my car. You are not telling Mr. X, Mr. X, Y, Mr. X, Z, so what you call stole my car. Somebody stole it. I don't know who. But one person stole it. So here this somebody is an indefinite article. It is an indefinite article. Like that. Few and sugar. Uh, sorry, little. I have few marbles. So here few means we don't know whether you have two marbles or you have 20 marbles or you have more than that. Or you are just saying I have some marbles with me. So it is also a, an indefinite article. Then we have little. I want a little rice. I, I want a little sugar. Things like that. Again little means we are not sure whether you want half kilo sugar, one kilo sugar, one tablespoon of sugar. One cup of sugar, you don't know. So here also it is indefinite, so we call it as indefinite pronoun. Here I would like to explain this one small technical detail. I want a little sugar. I want little sugar. Now when I ask you to read the blackboard, look at the blackboard, what do you say? It's a minor mistake because in these two sentences they are all same. Only thing we have omitted the article here. Here it is. I want a little sugar and I want little sugar. But don't take it lightly. Now when you don't put a, the meaning itself changes. When you say I want a little sugar, like for example your mom gives you a cup of tea. The sugar is less. So what do you say? I want a little sugar. So how much ever you want, they will add there. I want a little sugar means I want some sugar. But when you don't put a there, I want little sugar means I want no sugar. I don't want sugar. It is the same case with the few. I have a few marbles. I don't know whether you know about marbles. Last time I asked one student marble, what is that? He told me what you put it on the floor. Marble is that thing which boys used to play. Uh, it will be round, I don't know what you call that one, made of glass. I have a few marbles and the next one, I have few marbles. So, in these two sentences, what do you understand? 
don't think only a is missing so it is correct it is not a big issue but it will completely change the meaning i have a few marbles means i have some marbles with me i have few marbles means i have no marbles with me is it clear thank you very much you take page number 17 there some of the exercises are given you can try to do it or i will give you some more exercises uh, in your whatsapp group thank you very much have a nice day